What do they think of this relationship? So Spirit, for the viewer, what does their person think of this relationship? <laughs> First card out. This card out, we have the lovers. Okay, let's pull two more cards, please, Spirit. The Four of Wands. One more, please, Spirit. One more card. Okay, and then we have the Ten of Wands. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles. As you can see, there's the Eight of Wands peeking out, so we'll take that one too. They are madly, deeply smitten. The very first two cards that came out were the Lovers and the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is the 1111 card, a card of divine counterparts. They may feel that you are a divine counterpart or a soulmate. This is a relationship that they are going to take very seriously. The Four of Wands is often a marriage card to me. It's most definitely talking about a home or stability. This is probably my favorite lover's card of all decks. To me, it always looks like the emperor and the empress together, stealing a moment together. We have the angel in the background saying that this is a very protected union. They view that this relationship has all the components. They may feel that they have manifested it here with the seven of pentacles, and they may have waited a long time for this to come to pass. You can see that there are apples here which often represent temptation. It has both passion and romance. With the Eight of Wands they may feel like they have been hit by Cupid's arrow, completely swept off their feet. This may have happened very quickly when they were least expecting it. It feels like they have been solo for a very long time and have had to carry many burdens on their own. For many of you there may be a proposal Let's pull a couple more cards. What do they think about this relationship, please, Spirit? We have the King of Wands. And one more, please. Well, we had two. We had Temperance and we have the Hanged Man. This is the passion that I was talking about. They may also feel that this is a spiritual connection to you. 